Come on, let's all dance for a minute. Yeah. Oh yeah, push it real good. Okay, good morning guys. <laughs> we have a lot of new products we're talking about today. We have a DIY, we have some giveaways. So let's get started. We are live. Who is ready for some DIYs? I may be overfilled a couple of them. We want you to become empowered to know what you're purchasing because you know that's only going to help you be able to help your family. Oh goodness, who said Jessica Menzel said potty like a rock star? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, potty like a top. Oh. Um, Jessica Menzel, that made my day. We're gonna send you a poop ease roll on. What's Jessica Menzel, M E N Z E L. <laughs> Rocket it like it's hard. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> Lots of fun poop jokes. <laughs> oh, good morning, you guys. <laughs> ha ha, poop. <laughs> We're just getting a lot of, everyone's just going to start commenting poop. Miss Draftini said this is going to be a crappy live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, to be fair, you guys, we haven't been able to have a company meeting for the last like a couple of weeks without us, you know, really doing a lot of little jokes. Yeah, they were talking about doing a soft launch and a hard launch. <laughs> For sure. And then this morning we said that the um, our marketing director said um, that the poopies launch went really smooth. Yeah. Um, you know, we're full of them here as well. It's good. It's entertaining and it's fun and it keeps everyone young, right? That's right. Um, maybe a little too young. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a little too young. <laughs> maybe that's a good point. Um, okay, so we are going to be talking about our poop ease today. And um, I love it. It says, you heard me correctly. <laughs> Not only is it fun to say, it is our new Kid Safe blend that helps relax, especially kids, you know, that have a little bit of anxiety. It helps relax. And like we've said, just make everything go more smoothly. That's right. Um, so we're going to talk about that. We have, like I said, this DIY, some giveaways, but we're going to see who's joining us first. And I may or may not play that a couple more times today. <laughs> they, they may not have been able to have heard it very well because oh, no of the music. I, I had the other music going on underneath. So we do need to play it again. We do need to play it again. Just making sure. It's we have funny. Sherry from Minnesota. We have Angie from Cold, Pennsylvania. Angela from Snowy, Idaho. It's not snowy here, Angela. So where are you from? Like a Rexburg area? It's always snowy there. Um, Krista from Canada. Jan from Indiana. Jean from New York. Sherry from Indiana. Apparently it's really cold in Indiana as well. Ooh. Debbie from freezing cold Chicago. It's sunny and one degrees here. <laughs> That's cool. Dana from Caldwell. Sarah is from Northern Illinois. Right now it's negative six there, but it feels like it's negative 22. Ooh, I'm Whoa. grateful. I'm, it's actually, I think, gonna be a pretty nice day today. We aren't having wind today, which is nice. At least not yet, knock on wood. Yeah, I decided I to not wear pants it. today. I can't see <laughs> Daddy it doesn't have pants alive. on. <laughs> <laughs> um, Karen from Minnesota. Carol from Wisconsin. I just maybe spit saying that. Michelle from Wisconsin. Um, Paul from Hayburn, Idaho. Katie from Kentucky. I'm going to scroll to the bottom because literally that was like the first 15 people. Um, Amanda from Michigan, Tracy from Washington, D from California, D Elizabeth, so I don't know who's joining. Um, Christine from South Carolina, Randy from Southern Colorado, and Michelle from New York. Who do we have on Instagram joining us? This morning we have KMK Chick 1512 says good day from Arizona. Yeah, Hitchcock. not freezing from Arizona. <laughs> Hitchcock <laughs> Heather says hi from Texas. Welcome. Moon Lily 1013, good morning from Vermont. Um, <laughs> my 4 b says happy Friday, PT family from Frisco, Texas. Happy Friday. Uh, let's see. Need you for something. Lots of poopy uh -oh. jokes. Okay, do I have to like get unhooked? No, I'll come over to you. All okay, right. Jacob's going to come Here say hi Jacob. to everyone. Ugh. 
Jacob. All right, we have something very important for Retha to choose. We're trying to design our new Amazon <laughs> store. So we need Retha to select the final option. We have a tiebreaker. This is funny. Should we let our, our customers team. do it? Sure. So it's either this one. Okay. Or this one. Okay. How right, well so are they going to be able to see this? So put it out there. Oh, and there's an up cam. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that camera. Well, that one's not hooked up oh, right okay. now. So here. bring it over here. I'm going to zoom closer. in. Okay, guys. We're going to let them choose, Jacob. Okay, that's that's even better. Dude, this is cool. The header. So we're just focusing on the top image. Just, just this section right here. But look how cute those ones are. <laughs> okay, so you can't move it a whole lot just because I'm not that cute. So this is option number five. Option number five. Which is no, really oh, sorry. Option. This is option number one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was like. <laughs> option number one. Okay. okay. So this is for the Amazon store? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so then number one or hmm. everyone's gonna choose number two because it's it's, it's just the day, day for number two. It's day no, for day for number that two. One. Yes. Or this one. Oh, hmm. this is tough. I like the first one. I think oh. I Jerry has her vote. She just put in her vote. Nice to see you, Jacob, Laura said. Thanks, Laura. It's great to see you too. Oh. <laughs> you can't see Laura. Oh. <laughs> okay, show us show us those two again. Okay. So one is between two. one and one and five. Yeah, it's actually two. one and five. One and five. Well, but the you first can call one's it number two on. because it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. That's the first one I showed you. The sunrise uh, lavender. Oh my field. goodness. Dude, that <laughs> we're one's getting like fifty fifty. <laughs> I know the same with Instagram. Two yeah. one two one two one. So this Kay. is number one, and then they'll, they'll go back to number two. Ooh, I think option one's taking the lead here. Yeah, I really like, I think one's my favorite. But I'm not trying to sway the vote. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know. Option two's pretty cool, too. Dude, this is tough. <laughs> Someone said number two with poop emojis. <laughs> <laughs> number two in honor of poopies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Rita, and everybody else who helped on this. Rita, so what's your vote now? I are you going to go? go through all the comments yeah we'll go through them to see what everybody votes for and then we'll go with the highest hey that's a really good idea so it's up to you guys Ooh, you guys are split 50 50. yeah there's two of us on the team that want the lavender field and two of us that just want the lavender plant or flower yeah they're they're both we said we need retha to be the deciding vote and I'm it's going important with that enough one. to come up here to Ms. Droptini says two because one makes me think of a popular MLM. Oh. So I think she's saying two is a little more unique. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's right. a good one. What was your vote, Jacob? Uh, I voted for the plant or the flower, not the field. Yeah. Oh. That's what I voted too. Right? Uh, Number well, we haven't even had that field one until today. No, like I mean just right now. Oh. You right? voted for which one? The one I just showed you. Oh, you like that one? Just the like that lavender yeah, sprigs. That's one you okay, yeah, that's that, one I voted for. Oh yeah, that's why I was showing you. Oh, Not okay. a hand of <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I vote for. Gotcha. All right, thanks everybody. That's funny. Okay. Carolyn said, Can you slightly boost the purple in the lavender fields in version one? <laughs> and then she would choose that one. Maybe we should just hire her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt them, Jacob. They all will come and work for plant therapy. <laughs> okay, so I think number two <laughs> is going to win. Okay, guys, so that was like way. <laughs> that was unplanned. Yeah, that, that was, was really not fun. on the. That was list. fun. That is not up here. So I'm like, oh, what's happening? Just <laughs> now kidding. Now what do I do? We're going to give away some PT friends. Okay, I tried to zoom in so that you guys can see your pictures, but there is Ooh, a lot of pictures. I'll do this one for my children since they're obsessed with mermaids. I'm going to pick one more. You're doing three today? Yeah. All right. We follow Retha. <laughs> Jerry says, it says two up there, Retha. You do two. <laughs> okay. Um, so the first one I picked is this one. Is this in? This looks like, oh, oh New Jersey, Flemington, New Jersey. It kind of looked like it could be in New Orleans. Um, the Union Hotel is a historical landmark in my hometown of Flemington, Flemington New Jersey. Flemington. <laughs> it is the hotel the press stayed in while the trial of the abduction of Charles Lindbergh, 20, tw Charles Lind, wait, should I know about this? Lind Lindenburg. Lindenburg. Okay, that's not a, what it says. Uh, just, 
So the, is that what it is? He's the famous. Tw his 20 month old baby was yes. kidnapped. Okay, was, Lindenberg. He was a millionaire. So okay, yes. okay. Um, and this is from Danielle Ostrowski. Ooh. Is that how you say your last name? It's cool. Um, so that's cool. It's, is this hotel still open? It looks like it. It doesn't look. It looks like it could be a restaurant in the bottom now. I would like to stay That's in that really hotel. Cool. I just I like love the color. Buildings. It's like orange and green kind mm -hmm. of. It looks like bread brick. Yeah, with the green accents on the front. Thanks, so, Danielle. Oh, what, yeah, what were you going to yeah. say? I was just going to say this is a really good example of something I would like to bring up a little bit later about PT Friends and maybe a change that we would like to to okay. try. Okay. We could reach out to the group watching and see if there's some some ideas that they have but okay I can bring it up later or I can talk about it now it's up um well let's let's announce the rest of them and then you can say it okay okay so Danielle email cs at planttherapy.com and we are going to give you wait for it wait for it the Lindenberg baby <laughs> <Sorry>. water bottle <laughs> and a bag <laughs> woohoo okay so we're going back down there. Okay, the next one is in for my children because these are mermaids and my kids are obsessed with mermaids. This is in Norfolk, Virginia. It was sent in by Jessica Hughes. Mm, but how it, that's all she says on it. Did you see how excited that Katrina, Katrina got? I did. I lived in Norfolk for a long time and there's oh. mermaid statues all over town. Oh, the, they're all over? Mm -hmm. Just beautiful pieces of art. That's wow. really cool. I didn't know you lived there. Look at that. Our own little Katrina. <laughs> what a proud moment. <laughs> um, that's really cool. So this one like looks like it could be at a house. Would it have been at something like in front of someone's house? It could have been, or that might just be a older like museum type building. Mm, that's <clears throat> really cool. So Jessica, thank you for sending this in. Email cs at planttherapy.com and we are going to be sending you a water bottle as well and a black plant therapy bag. That's for Jessica. And one more. <laughs> This is from Christy James, and it's in. Um, she lives in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Oh, that and is it says beautiful. courthouse. Oh, that's pretty. It's the courthouse in Lawrenceville, Georgia. And it looks like it's cool. a vintage picture, doesn't it? It doesn't look like the colors are right. kind of muted and vintagey. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to see what those people are wearing. That's cool. I wonder if this is the current courthouse still. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. We we have some cool old buildings like that in, in Twin Falls. Yeah, so um, Christy, James, I don't know if you got that, Jerry, email cs at planttherapy.com and we are going to be sending you a water bottle as well as a black plant therapy bag. Congrazie, you guys. Look at all this fun swag stuff okay um <clears throat> what do you got for us danny let's talk about poopies oh do you don't want to talk about this oh oh yeah that's right i'm sorry <laughs> okay so i, I just really wanna... wants to talk about poopies guys <laughs> so i don't know if you guys noticed but we are we love getting your guys's pictures and we have noticed that we we're trying to print them off the ones that aren't that we are printing off don't look as good as the ones you send in um, or the ones that come in as postcards. So what we would like to do, I, and we don't have the manpower to keep up with all the pictures that are coming mm. in. So what we would like to propose is that starting in February, we would like you to send us your pictures in the mail or send us postcards in the mail. Um, the other thing, if you looked at the back of that picture, we try to write all the mm -hmm. stuff that, that's in your e email on the back of the picture. We've even tried printing it onto the back. <clears throat> it's just a lot of extra work. Um, and we're trying to, we want this to be a really good experience for our customers. And so we would like to ask that you start sending the pictures and Kay. postcards. Okay. Okay. So starting in February. Starting in February. Okay. Awesome. 
You all heard that? So for the PT friends, what we do is, is we have these pictures. Um, we love getting pictures from your hometown. Um, or we had some, some customers send in like their Christmas cards. Um, so different things like that. So mail us, starting in February, we ask that you mail us the picture or the postcard um, with whatever information you want us to know about it. And, um, and then it will go on our PT friends and then we do, we pull random ones off the wall and do giveaways. We so. will finish the wall so they don't yes. need to right. have to resend right. stuff. Right. Yeah. If it's up on the wall, you've entered. Yeah. The cool thing is we save every single picture that you send in and we put it up on another wall mm -hmm. and as, as you win. So we want to continue that tradition and just fill up our studio with That'd be really pictures cool. of our, our live family. That'd be really cool. So we really appreciate you guys. Um, okay, so who's ready to talk about some poopies? <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is about this Can they see this name. if it's here? Uh, yeah, pull it back just a little bit. Well, I can't. You can move stuff. Oh. There we go, put it right there. That's okay? Yeah, is he, that a him or a her? I don't know. These days, you don't. Let's make it a, let's make it a, a him. Where can you find the address? The address is on, um, you can find the address on our website, but we can also announce it here too. <laughs> you can always uh, email customer service with your questions. See us at Front Third. I wish I actually knew how to dance. I'd do some like really cool feet things. I don't actually know how to dance, guys. I, I think you dance pretty well. Some of our gifts that we have made of you <laughs> are of you dancing, which are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't be a good thing. Um, okay, so someone said, who named Poop Ease? So honestly, um, when we were formulating these bl this blend, Poop Ease was just the... Um, yeah, like the code name. Yeah, for the it was the code name. And we eventually fell in love with the code name. And it stuck. It did. <laughs> it stuck and we just couldn't ever get rid of it um so i mean that's all true in in you know very appropriate ways um so yes so it, it was just the code name and we couldn't get rid of it we all ended up falling in love with it i don't know what those two are laughing about back there but i'm nervous to find out well sometimes there's words my mom's from ireland and some of the words that were are swear words here are not in oh. ireland so. <laughs> She said that wouldn't fit on the label. <laughs> <laughs> so poop ease. It one of our kid safe uh, stuck on you like poo. Um, <laughs> it is a new. It's our brand new kid safe blend, and it helps children and adults. Um, a, I saw a ton of customers who are purchasing it for themselves. Um, so it helps just with like the anxiety and the relaxing and helping just for it to. Ease out. Ease out. <laughs> Slowly smooth, smooth, smooth out. Wait. Relax your cold. Yeah. Relax your cold. It does. I just think that. Does poop ease need explaining? You know, you don't. I mean, maybe. There <laughs> is a blog post. Up. There is a blog post that goes into. And detail. the product page. Yeah. The product. Um, but it's really fantastic. I will tell you that I know this seems weird, but we always do product testing in-house right um and i don't think i've ever known a product that everyone has been more excited about like true story like when people were giving their feedback after testing poop ease um i mean people were so excited about this <laughs> blend you guys because it's something that a lot of people struggle with um for whatever reason maybe it's diet purposes maybe it's hereditary like you know whatever the reason is a lot of people struggle with pooping on all sorts of levels just keeping it real um, and poop ease will help with that so yeah we released that crap you're right we did <laughs> um, <Debbie. laughs> so any any questions is it pregnancy safe um it's kid safe it is kid safe Sorry. orange copaiba caraway ginger is ginger pregnancy safe? Ginger root? 
That would be the only one I had a question on. Email what? aromatherapist at planttherapy.com. Yeah. <laughs> and do we know if it would react with any medications? Um, you'll want to reach out to the aromatherapist. Yep, if you have medications that you're on, there was nothing that immediately stood out to me with that, um, but email CS at planttherapy.com and I mean email aromatherapist at planttherapy.com or CS and they'll, they'll send the aromatherapist your email. Um, but, but yeah. So. What is the percentage of dilution in the roll-on? Do we know? <clears throat> no, I don't know off the top of my head. Yeah. Tyler see. just told us it is pregnancy safe. Oh, okay, it is pregnancy safe. And Tyler, do you know the roll-on dilution? And I'm I'm checking um, the website. Mike McLean. Oh. she is talking to us as well. Okay. Oh, she just said, yeah. Tyler said yeah. it's pregnancy safe. We will find out the dilution of the roll-on for you guys. <clears throat> but if you can't wait for us to find it, you can go on. It might it might be on the website. I don't know. I yeah. haven't looked honestly. I haven't checked for that. Everyone's saying it's four percent. Um, is that what? the dilution recommendation is, yeah, two to 4%, oh. but it could be 4%, that could be right. Um, I don't know that off the top of my head. <laughs> um, let's give a, a poopy, let's have a poopies giveaway. Do you, are, are I may really? Yeah, you can give that away. Giving this away. Yeah. Who wants to win this? I do, oh my gosh, if I brought this home to my kids, they'd be so excited. Throw in some poopies with it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, four four percent. So the roll on must be four <clears> percent. <throat> so, uh, yeah. What? Uh, how are we going to give this away? Should we just have Jesse pick somebody? Um. So, yes. Roll on is diluted to four percent. Thank you. Would you dilute mm -hmm. it differently for adults? Um, you could. I would start at a four percent though. I often use what like I would dilute it for my children um, every once in a while I go a little bit higher but I would start I would do it four percent for adults to start for sure do you apply it to the abdomen mm -hmm. okay just wanted mm -hmm. didn't want anybody applying it somewhere else yeah no nope. apply it to the abdomen abdomen and then um, if you do this the is it clockwise circular motion um, that just helps with your digestive system it just helps kind of you know balance everything and, and get it all moving um, that massage motion so when you apply it to your abdomen and do that massage motion it helps a lot um, okay let's see um, coming up with a question yeah um, I don't have a question anybody have a question how about put um, <laughs> in emojis the best description of your last BM. No, that Bowel movement? <laughs> yeah. No. Like you could do, okay, that no. might be a bad one. All right, sorry, my mom. <laughs> like are we gonna have like a green vomit face if that's what's happening, everyone will just have that. Yeah. Guys, what's a good, <clears throat> uh, how about this? How about just tell us if you want to win this and a poop, and a poopies roll on. How about okay. that? Yeah. You Say me, that. yes, I want to win, I want to be entered, and then we'll just randomly choose a winner. Let's keep it simple. We got stuff to do. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. <laughs> All right. So, um, and Jesse, if you'll pick one of those lovely winners. <laughs> Please no, one. Danny. Ha ha. Know, That's I'm what Shelby That said. was horrible. <laughs> Year to go has a hashtag Team Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's no. start a hashtag too. No, just kidding. <laughs> In my defense, I did have. He a, was dropped as a child. This <laughs> <laughs> right on my face. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Just you, kidding. Okay, guys, my um, comments have frozen. I'm refreshing it. We'll see if they come back up. Okay, um, name game. Let's do another giveaway. So we're going to choose one winner to win the emoji and a poop ease pre diluted roll on. Um, Jesse's going to do that. So just tell us if you want to win. Oh, my comments aren't working, guys. Um, but who's ready for the name game? Me. Are you ready? We're ready. Okay. Butter, 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 butter banana, banana, butter, the name guy. I'm all butter, the name guy. <laughs> Butterfly79 on Instagram. 
Oh, that's fun. Butter, butter. Yeah, they're ready for the name game. Awesome. Okay, oh, it looks like Jesse maybe has a winner before we start the name game. Okay, so the winner is Lydia Nichols on Facebook. Oh. Lydia Nichols on Facebook is getting this baby and a poop ease roll on, pre diluted roll on. Awesome. That's my maiden name. Yeah, I was going to say it's spelled a little differently, but uh, Nichols is. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh, you're talking about poopies. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna, I'm going to show you the botanical name, and you're going to have 60 seconds to guess what product, what oil it is. Are we ready? Danny, you ready? Ready. On and your mark, get set, go. go. Hmm, Lectospermium scoparium. Oh my goodness, this one is hard. That looks very Australian, though. Spokarian. Bulgarian? Spokarian. 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 I'm not even going to try. Lepto... It's not... Lep Lep Kendra, are you asking if this is a new product? This is not a new product. Leptop? Or are you asking if this is a new product? <laughs> <laughs> it is not a new product. It's been around for it's years. It's been around for a while. Okay, we got 19 seconds. 19 seconds. Tired? 17 yes, seconds, actually. 15 seconds, 14. I 15. haven't seen one correct guess yet. Oh, oh now it. they're coming. I'm seeing it. Whoa, that was crazy. I and know. it was all YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like, I've only seen correct guesses on YouTube, you guys. Okay, one second and Oh, wait, I up. see one. Oh, my goodness. Do you know what it is, Katrina? Mm. And were there any correct guesses? Very many. Very many, <laughs> Very many of the guesses correct. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where to begin with that. Um, Manuka. Woohoo. Kind of goes along with the. Uh, Manuka. <laughs> what is Manuka? I don't know, an oil? Yeah, well, I thought maybe you'd tell us. Um, is for... Manuka the one that's like tea tree, kind of? Yeah. That has a lot of the same. You want this? Properties as tea tree. Yes, it is from Australia. This doesn't say. Doesn't say where it's from. No, oh. it doesn't say if it's the. It might be something else. Guys, it's hard to keep all these oils right. Okay, so it says Manuka oil has many wonderful uses, including calming inflamed skin, soothing irritation caused by nature's pests and restoring dry scalp and nails to vibrancy. It also provides relief for discomfort from seasonal illnesses. It has a sweet herbaceous aroma that is calming, particularly during times of extra worry. Manuka. Manuka. Awesome. And so you can probably look it up on the blog. There's most definitely some information on the blog and on the website. Yes, Check it out. absolutely. And we have a winner for a 10 mil Manuka. So Butterfly, 79. Butterfly 79. Butterfly 10 mil. Butterfly 79 gets a 10 mil manuka. And our winner for the name game is at forever not me on Instagram. And at forever not me also gets a 10 mil manuka. Woohoo. Man, it, today's Instagram's day. <laughs> there have been some some winners on Instagram today. Okay, guys. Any questions? Pete says I use manuka on my toes. You got to explain that one, Pete. Because it help. says it helps dry toes, dry nails. Oh, toes. for nails. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Jerry <laughs> explained it for you. <laughs> Jean says she uses it in her hair serums. Um, Sherry says love manuka, one of my favorites. Okay. So, who's ready for um, a DIY now? Let's do this. Um, can you just get this on like Amazon or something? We have lots of people asking. Walmart. Oh, Walmart. This was got from Walmart. Maybe I'm sure you can you can get everything on Amazon though, right? So you probably can get it on Amazon too. Um, I mean, to go back to poop ease, how fantastic would something like this have been when I was potty training my children? Because you know, a lot of children it's when they're potty like training, like you know, being able to. I mean, what's like the proper way to say pee, right? Like, pee? 
<laughs> urinate. urinate? I don't know. <laughs> what would a doctor say? Okay, so you know, a lot of children when they're potting training, it's really super easy for them to urinate, but they, um, a lot of kids get anxiety with having a bowel movement when they're potty training. So something like this with the poop that's dancing, as well as our poopies to help with that anxiety, help calm them, you know, relax everything. Um, so fantastic. All my kids are beyond potty training. Thank goodness. Um, but this would have been something like that would have been fantastic for potty training, especially. And I noticed a ton of you customers tagging in friends and family members saying like, maybe this will help so-and-so while they're potty training. So I know that that is, you know, not just my kids, but that was a, a lot of people struggle with that. And I saw you guys, um, you know, tagging your friends and family. So we appreciate that. If you think that there's someone that, that can benefit from this, you know, it's always, we, all, all, we are always very appreciative that you share that information. Okay, DIY time. Um, <clears throat> this DIY is for our Geranium Egyptian Spotlight. It's the Geranium Egyptian Spotlight DIY um, featuring the Geranium Egyptian, which you can get 15% off through Tuesday with coupon code SPOTLIGHT3131. Um, and so here's the DIY that we have for you today. And all of this have already been measured out, but um, if and you have a scale, you'll be able to I mean, it's, it's easy to do it when you have a scale. Am I going to the essentials video? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. perfect. And then it also has the... Angry. So there is yeah. a video up on the blog that shows how to do it, but it also mm -hmm. has... The, the video is also on our YouTube channel? Yes. Yes. So if you subscribe to YouTube, you can be notified when we add vid the, our essentials videos and, and some other videos that are coming your way. Okay, so what you need... And it also has the graphic that you can print out and add to your to your collection of all the graphics that I know a lot of you have. But you need um, one and a half ounces of shea butter. Ah, shea. And you need one and a half ounces of solid coconut oil. And Plant Therapy no longer carries this coconut oil, so don't get excited. Um, but <laughs> you, I mean, you know, you can get solid coconut oil um, lots of places in grocery stores on Amazon, um, but solid coconut oil, one and a half ounces of solid coconut oil. And um, you want to mix this together. I just watched this essentials vid video yesterday, so I feel like I could be an expert. Um, but you'll want to mix this together, mix it really well. And then in a separate bowl, you want to combine, what is this, the rose hip? You want to combine a half of an ounce. Um, do we know what this, equates to like how much it equates to how many tablespoons or teaspoons by chance maybe the aromatherapist will know an ounce is 30 mls yeah i don't know how many teaspoons that is though i think that's three <clears throat> for a mil oh wait or six no it's one six. mil There's a yep. teaspoon so it's probably nine is it one mil or There's a teaspoon in the drawer over there. 30 mil i don't know 10 mil three teaspoons or three tablespoons we don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it's on our dilution chart. Three mil. 30 mil. 30 mil is six teaspoons. I'm it pretty is. sure. Okay. It's on our dilution chart, though, that conversion for sure. So if you have questions. Um, but you is need. That on the, and that's, is that on the downloads page? Yeah. Okay. And on the blog. And on the blog. Yep. Um, so half of an ounce of rose hip carrier oil. And half of an ounce of jojoba carrier oil. You guys, can you not see this anymore because all the products are in the way? No, we got the above camera. It's not a great camera, above camera, but. That's okay, because Instagram probably can't see it. Oh. And then um, in the carrier oils, that's where you want to add your essential oil. So you have 18 drops of frankincense frariana. I think so. it was nine drops drops nine drops nine drops of lavender fine and if you just have lavender you can use that as well that was ten that's really close seven drops of geranium Egyptian and two drops of sea fennel. That was three. I have two extra drops in there. 
Yeah, sea fennel comes out faster than you think it's going to. Yeah. So <laughs> then what you're going to do is you're going to mix the shea butter and the coconut oil really well. Um, and then once it's mixed really well, you're going to add in... So this is my, my magic trick, right? Um, but it looks like this was already added in, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but once it's mixed, you'll want to add in the carrier oils and the essential oils and then mix all together really well. Um, again, until you have a nice body cream, body butter consistency like this. I, I mean, I could frost cupcakes with that, you guys. That looks it, so good. I want to eat it. <laughs> I know. I mean, like the color, you know, when you add vanilla extract into frosting, it's delicious looking. Um, anyways, and then um, you want, this is a body cream to use in the evening. Yeah. No. Mm. Danny, just kidding. I, I just have a question. Yes. Why, why, why is it important to add the drops of oil to the carrier oil before adding it all to the, uh, the solid ingredients um so you'll just i mean i i don't know if there's um like a real reason but i imagine because this is going this is pretty hard to mix um because of how hard it is and if you have the liquid in there it's going to be spraying everywhere um so it's kind of like mixing your solids first and your liquids and then mixing them together same as like you would do in baking just to make sure it all gets mixed in really well yeah that's what i would imagine the reason for it is okay um, any questions about that one? Anna Katiekin is asking, can you tell me why the shea butter I have is yellow but yours is white? Um, it could be, um, this is the refined. So if you have the unrefined, it's going to be a different color, a little bit of a different color. Yeah. This is the refined shea butter. So that's most likely the reason for that. Um, and if you look at that bowl, the the shea butter is a little more yellow oh definitely more it, there's more color than the, than coconut. the coconut yeah. yeah yeah it does have that hint but it's because it's refined um kendra says i always plop in the eos last that would be fine you just probably wouldn't want to do it with this because if you have the eos in there it's going to make you know there's going to be essential oil spraying everywhere um so you want to mix that harder stuff first um, and Kendra says, I'm using cocoa butter for this. You absolutely can use, um, you know, whatever butter you prefer. Um, that really is up to you. Some of the, the unrefines have scents where the refines, the scent is removed. So some people, um, depending on how they're using it, prefer the refined. Um, but, you know, again, that's, that's really a personal choice. Whether you use a refined or unrefined or, or the mango or the cocoa butter or the shake. Yes. Can you use real butter? <laughs> I mean, that'd be no, a cool I mean, consistency. <laughs> I don't know. Could you use, my I mom mean, was asking, could you reuse real butter? I wouldn't, personally. I wouldn't. <laughs> the consistency would be a ton different, for sure. Um, does it matter if it's refined or unrefined? Um, it, that just is really personal. Um, mostly the reason for using one or, or over the other would be scent. Um, so this, there might be enough essential oils in there that it would mask the scent of the unrefined um, shea or mango butter. Um, but a lot of people prefer refined when they're doing, you know, like top, like body um, DIYs so that you don't smell it because sometimes they're, they're pretty strong. The unrefined is Ms. pretty Strattini strong. Ms. is asking, are your butters what everyone calls melt and pour? Melt and pour butters. Um... I don't know. I don't so they think so because here, this is a body butter. Right. And the I think she means this though. Um, I don't know that answer, honestly. I'm not sure. What is a melt and pour? There's a soap base that's melt and pour, mm -hmm. and you melt it. But is there butters that are melt and pour? Like when you heat these up, they will melt. And then you could pour them. Okay, so a lot of people are saying melt and pour is a soap. Oh, is okay. for soap. <clears throat> so it's just a, a maybe a harder has yeah, a little more wax. Yeah, just for soap making. In it or something. Could you wax. use any geranium? You you really could use any geranium in this recipe. Yeah. Yep. There's a. Although we found out on Wednesday that the geraniums smell really quite different. Um, so you know, really, it could be a personal preference on what works well with the other oils as well. On the on the downloads page, there is a couple of different downloads that you can will help you find uh, some uh, 
something you use instead of what we have in the yeah the DIY for the so, oils yeah yeah it's like a comparison yeah and the substitution yep um okay what's next we're doing it wait we're doing a giveaway is it time to be done what time is it oh it's yeah. time to be done um okay so we are going to give all of not this one we're going to give <laughs> the ingredients away um so it would be the shea butter, the rose hip, the jojoba, and these four oils. Um, we're gonna give these ingredients away to someone. Um, let's do two winners today. Um, and guys, really fast before I announce the giveaway and we head out of here, If the, I, I mean, there's a ton of questions coming through and I, I'm trying to get to some of them, um, but if we didn't answer your question, especially like on Instagram and YouTube, make sure you email cs at planttherapy.com or our, our aromatherapist at aromatherapist at planttherapy.com and they are always more than happy to answer your question. So I know we always can't get to all of them um, and we, you know, we can't go back on Instagram and YouTube very easily to answer them. So, so make sure you're reaching out to our aromatherapists and they are always happy to help answer any questions you have. Um, and then use our downloads page and use our blog and you, know, you can search downloads page. There's a ton of educational information on there, you guys. So take advantage of all of that education that we are providing. Um, okay, giveaway time. You will have until 5 p.m. Mountain Time to answer the giveaway question um, to be entered into the giveaway, and we are going to be choosing two winners, and each winner will win the shea butter, the rose hip, the jojoba, and then these four oils, frankincense, floriana, lavender, fine, geranium, Egyptian, and sea fennel. Which uh, I just found out that frankincense, floriana is Katrina's favorite frankincense. Is it? Is it sure the peppery is. one? No, it's, it smells oh. a little floral to me. Yeah, it is floral. I think Serrata is my favorite. I think Serrata is the one that has the peppery note to it that I really like. Okay, here we go. The giveaway question is, what are four things that geranium Egyptian can be used for? That's a good one. Oh, you know what? No, that wasn't the question. That is the question, but I may have left some of the old question on there so i'm gonna delete that. oh i was like i can't see anything wrong but it's on no, the screen you're totally fine <laughs> so you can go to the blog because we have a blog post on geranium egyptian for the oil of the week um you can also go to the product page or if you have geranium egyptian check on the backs but tell us um four things that geranium egyptian can be used for or that you use a geranium egyptian for maybe it's not listed anywhere but you have success using it um but four things that geranium egyptian can be used for Leave that answer, um, your answer in the comment section before 5 p.m. Mountain Time to be entered into the giveaway and we are choosing two winners. So good luck to everyone on that. Rita, did you wanna mention uh, the Evoke? Oh, the Evoke, yeah. So we had a discussion about this. Let's move all this baby over. Um, I'll mention a couple things. So we have, um, don't forget about the essences. Um, they were the oil of the month, and we launched those a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's the mandarin, the lemon, and the orange essence. Um, so don't forget about those. If you're interested in learning more about essences, we have blog posts on it, and you can also go to the product pages, and there's more information there. And then our sleep set. Um, I took a bubble bath a couple. I mean, I've used it a few times, the bubble bath now, and my four-year-old comes in and she was like, what it smells so yummy? And I was like, yeah, it's this bath. <laughs> it's good. I love the new blend, the, the sleep tight blend. Um, it is really fantastic. Um, anyway, so also check out the sleep sets. We have one for adults and one for children. My son maybe stole my sleep mask. He absolutely did. And he wears, he's been wearing it every night um, for the last like five nights or something. So anyways, it's pretty funny. Okay, um, so those are all kind of the new products that we've launched the last couple of weeks, just as an FYI if you haven't seen it yet. Oh, Katie says what blog? So Plant Therapy has a blog. Um, if you go to, Danny, can you go to my screen? Uh-huh. Um, are they there? Uh -huh. Okay, so this is the home page. It's loading. This is the home page of Plant Therapy. If you go up here to learn, um, you can find the blog this way. You can go to About, and you can find the blog right here under Support. Um, so these are two easy ways to get to the blog. You go to the blog, and it takes you to Plant Therapy's um, blog. So you can search right here, um, or you know, you scroll down, you view more, and it will just show you um, a quick little screenshot of what the last blogs have been. Um, and you can also just search around and, and start reading some blogs. So 
It's a there, ton of education. There's a lot. <clears throat> there's a lot there. A lot there. Yep. Okay. So um, our yeah, evoke what was line. Your favorite. Um. Oh. Well, I I don't know if I could choose. Okay. Hmm. It's very hard. Um. If I had to, it would. If I chose one, my favorite one from each set, I would choose Verve. And probably, hold on, was it Revere? I gotta smell yes. it again. Yes. Although. I know. I would probably choose Jubilation. Although I'm not gonna lie, when I first smelled Jubilation, I was like, mm, I don't know. Um, and then I you know, kept picking them up and smelling them, and every time I smell it, I like it more and more, which is interesting. Um, so Verve and Jubilation would be my two favorites from each of the sets. Danny? So <laughs> this is where it gets hard, because uh, Wednesday after the show, it was Spirit. Absolutely loved Spirit. It was like instantly, that was my favorite. Today, um, I smelt it and I liked, um, what's the one in between Verve and Spirit? Zest. It was Zest. Today. Danny's today's favorite is Zest. Oh. So, so it's, yeah, it just well. depends on my mood, I guess. Oh, for sure. And Katrina. I like the Jubilation one's my favorite. And then out of the other set, I really like Spirit a lot. Spirit. Yeah. So we were not helpful at all, were we? <laughs> I know. Yeah, Spirit Not was helpful. my favorite the other day, though. Yeah. So spirit really... and Verve, verb, I think, are my favorite. But Verve verb, um, reminds me of Vetiver, like, and I love it. Like, it just has that, like... Smoky. Yeah. Mm, so good. So, so good. Um, okay, so there you have it. That's ours. Okay, um, let us know what are the four things that Geranium can be used for to be entered into the giveaway. You have until 5 p.m. Mountain Time to leave your answer in the comment section of the live video um, to be entered into the giveaway. Don't forget about all the new products. Go check them out if you haven't. There's a ton of educational information on the blog on all the new products we have launched. So if you just scroll through, um, you can quickly find the post that kind of went with the launch of the product um, and, and learn more about the new products. Um, what else? Talk about the, sense of sense of the DIY. Don't forget to like and share. I think that's it. Yeah. We'll be we back have a, we next week. We have a show week. on Monday. Yes. 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. It's our manageable Mondays. One of the life hacks is I have a safety pin in my shirt because the shirt's too low. So I safety pin it so it's not as low. So there's a quick sneak peek of a life hack. Um, <laughs> it probably won't be on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> so join us Monday, 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. Have an amazing weekend. Good luck, everyone, on the Good luck, everyone, on the giveaway, and we'll see you Monday. Bye.